Hello. Do you know what time it is? It's beer time. It's beer time. It's beer time. Hello and welcome to episode one of Hashtag Beer Time with me, T-Bone Troy. The show that talks about beer. Yes, we're going to be talking about beer, craft beer mainly, but doesn't, I don't mind what or who we talk about. Uh, we're just going to drink some beer, talk about beer, talk to beer people, anything that really involves beer. Um, I'm passionate about craft beer. I hope you are too. Let's... Uh, Let's give this a chance. It is only episode one. Um, give it some time. We'll get a better location. Maybe more beers. I mean, we're starting off with some pretty good beers uh, for the first episode. But let's just uh, let's just give it give it. Who, I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen? I, I have absolutely no idea. I, let's do this. It's, that was good. Good. Okay, let's do this. First beer is the Butcher Block made by Jack Black Brewing Co. Uh, it's a pale ale. Uh, it's been around for about four years, five years. Uh, the recipe's changed a little bit since. Oh, there we go. Never mind that. Okay, let's ignore that. So. But let's uh, let's give this a little a little whirl, shall we? Got a very nice Spiegel glass here. Thank you, Jack Black. Save some for later. Okay, mm. yeah, so that's freaking beautiful. You can see that obviously it's a bit of a multi beer, judging by its color. Um, there are some hops there. But I definitely pick up more malts, definitely more of a malt forward beer. Ooh, ooh, it's ice cold, it's great. Um, yeah, a lot of maltiness, a lot of sweetness that comes through. Mm. And actually, it is quite, it is quite bitter, but that uh, maltiness actually masks the, uh, the bitterness quite a bit. Um, I think the bits in a, between units is about 35, so it is quite high-ish. Um, I suppose it's perceived bitterness is maybe not as high. This is actually one of my favorite beers um, to drink, I suppose, all year round. Um, I wouldn't say it's complex, but it definitely has some good caramel, no uh, good caramel notes. Um, soft biscuits. Oh, it's actually flipping delicious. I'm actually going to say this a little bit later. So, what can I tell you about Jack Black? Um, local Cape Townian craft beer company. Uh, they've just built their own brewery. Uh, even though they've been around for about eight years, uh, they used to contract brew. Um, but now, yeah, they got their own brewery and got a great new team on board. And yeah, they're making some damn fine beers. Um, Jack Black, if you don't know, is arguably one of the biggest craft beers in South Africa, namely for their lager. Uh, we're trying the Pale Ale today, uh, which is my favorite of them. Our second beer is from Fuller's, the British beer company. Um, I think they're one of the biggest. I stand to be corrected. Uh, India Pell L. This has been sitting in my fridge for quite a while now. Saving it for something special. Also a little foamy. I probably shook up the bottle before I... I was a little bit excited, right? I'm drinking beer, for goodness sake. Cool. So... It is an English IPA, not an American IPA. So I'm already expecting a bit more earthy notes, more grass, rather than fruity, piney kind of aromas, flavors. 
show. Yeah, definitely some uh, maltiness, some soft fruits. <clears throat> the spice coming through there, earthy spice. Doesn't really, uh, doesn't really jump out at you like a normal IPA. I say normal, but maybe one of the stronger American IPAs. More reserved. Definitely packs a, a punch in the bitterness category. <clears throat> it's actually not as sweet as the previous beer we had, which was the Butcher Block Pell Ale. This one's actually probably got less malt aroma, but a higher uh, bitterness unit, international bittering unit. I would actually go and say that this is an exact opposite of what we just had uh, in terms of being a malt forward or hop forward beer. So this has actually got less malt, more hop uh, or bitterness. Look, it doesn't blow me away, but it's still a damn fine good beer. It's well made, it's clean. It's clean. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd, I don't know if I'd order it again though. I definitely order the butcher block sitting down there. Yeah, I would definitely order you. Um, oh well, look, I'm enjoying it, so it's not a bad thing, right? Um, cool. And that's the Fullers in the IPA. Thank you, Fullers. So, that is the show. It's short and sweet. Um, I enjoyed it because, well, I got to talk to you. I got to drink some beer. It's pretty much a win-win. What else can I tell you? What else? That's pretty much it. But until next time, enjoy your beer. Enjoy drinking it. And... And if the moment is right, hashtag it with beer time. I'd appreciate it. Until next time, ciao.